Protopie has just released an update for our Protopie Genie plugin with new actions for camera, voice, web embed, and map, and I want to be the first to show you all of them in action. After opening up the Protopie Genie plugin, I can start creating my interactions. So first will be text input field. So any text layer, I can make an input field. So I'll want to type my name and I want that output field to be triggered somewhere else. So this output field will be onto the name on our home screen. So I can save and create that first interaction. So let's now work on our next new actions. So let's do voice and I want to start recording. So I'll do that mic icon. And when I select that, I want to listen. And I want it to display what I'm saying. So let's add a text display to that same text in that frame. Perfect. Now let's create that interaction. Now let's work on our camera interaction. So I can simply select the camera area where I will be in view, then add a shutter button as well. So I'll choose that circle, save, and create a interaction. Let's now work on our map. So I can select our map select its map area. I could change the map style. I could also change if I need to zoom in, but most importantly, I need to copy that location and I can paste that location right in. And now all I have to do is select the location and I'm all set. And lastly, we have our web embed layer for our videos. So let's select our web embed layer and copy that URL. So I'll copy that URL from YouTube and paste that right in as well. I have a couple options, but I actually just leave them as default. So let's create that interaction. And I can preview any of these individually, but I wanna preview them all in the same flow. So all I have to do is create a flow and a prototype with all of them. So let's name this flow. And here's it all prototyped. So all I have to do is come back to our plugin and in interactions right below, I can select the flow that has all of them together, hit publish, and now I can see all of these in action. Perfect, our prototype is now loaded in, so let's run through our flow. So on sign up, I need to use that text input field to type in my name, I can hit continue. And now I can use our voice activation to enter my city, so Seattle, lovely. And now that populates right up here in my prototype. And lastly, we had three more interactions I wanted to showcase. This one with our Google Maps. And just like that, I can now view Google Maps natively into my prototype. And then we had two more to showcase. One was our web embed and then our camera. And let's do our web embed first, our video. So just like this, we have highlights now playing natively inside our prototype. I'll hop on back and I'll do our camera interaction. And just like that, we now have a camera interaction. So you can see two of me now. Uh, if I want, I can pause and take a photo. And just like that, I now have a photo uh, with our camera. So here is our Genie plugin in action. Wait a second, I'm not done quite yet. There's still one more feature I haven't shown you. And inside your preview, you also have the option to open this prototype in your device. So if I select my open in device, I can take my phone, make sure that I've downloaded the Protopie Genie app can open the app and scan the QR code for a preview. So let's scan the QR code. And just like that, we now have our preview on our phone. So I can go through all of those interactions. I'll just run through a couple to show you guys as well. I can type in my name as I've just done earlier. Perfect. I can use my mic, Seattle, lovely. Uh, let's do the camera as our last one just for fun. Look, there I am. You guys can see me twice. Um, so I just wanted to show this as well because not only can you preview your prototypes on your desktop, but you can also preview your prototypes directly on your phone using the Protopie Genie app as well.